My name is Sadiq Jafar. Since I was a kid, I normally go to school every day. I haven't even felt an absence on one day. But when I felt sick, I wasn't able to do anything. I'm unable to learn because I'm weak. And I'm able to play with my siblings and friends. They said it's a spleen. It's too dangerous for them to operate it. If not, maybe I will not have the luck to stay on this planet Earth. So we came here and they admitted us so that we have the surgery. After the surgery, I'll thank God for being alive. I'll pray for all of you because you also have a daughters and sons like me. The mission to Ghana, there's a couple of goals that we try to accomplish. One is to obviously uh, provide free surgeries to all the patients. Uh, the second goal is to do an assessment of the hospital, see what their needs are and what areas they're lacking in, and then buy supplies and donate these supplies. So when we leave, we'll have a sustained effect. It's been so exciting working with them because they look not only to perform surgeries and go away, they also seek to um, transfer skill and to transfer some technology. In fact, the first ever laparoscopically assisted vaginal hysterectomy in Ghana was performed right here in this hospital today. I only get to see that in medical videos and I'm like, wow, you know, I never dreamt of that. They brought us the equipment and they taught me how to do that and I'm happy that I was part of the pioneering team that ever performed this surgery right here in Ghana. This hospital, which has only three operating rooms, only bare minimum equipment, provides care for over 250,000 patients every single year. There are thousands upon thousands upon thousands of patients who are waiting. The disease process that we see in the States is much more advanced here uh, because of limited access to care. Uh, a lot of these cases are fibroids, people that are bleeding and have a lot of pain. These tumors can get quite large. One of the cases that we did, the uterus was uh, about the size of a watermelon. So we were able to remove the uh, tumor off the uterus and hopefully preserve her fertility. We have a lot of kids. Uh, that have burns and they're unable to be treated by the local uh, plastic surgeon because there isn't a local plastic surgeon so it's actually nice to provide a service that's not here and give the kids the opportunity to have a more functional life. Hello everybody. Can you lie down here? Okay. Sadiq is a, a, a wonderful child. I would love to have him as a son. So the spleen lies under the diaphragm in the left side in the human being and really does not reach below the rib cage. So if you touch your rib cage, you do not feel your spleen. His spleen was down in his pelvis. Ah man, Sadiqi. <laughs> Every now and then you come across a case or two that kind of catches your eye, catches your heart. But this young boy, extremely smart. Maybe someday when he becomes the president of Ghana, you'll come and look us up. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he will. Our motto is, to the world, I may be one person, but to one person, I may be the world. And it is true. To one person, you can be the entire world, because without them, the world is gone. Say hello to Rose. She's gonna be your nurse. And slide back, see this donut here? 
You want to put your head in it. Yep. Keep moving. That's it. Lie down. That's it, sweetheart. Here's spleen from a 12 year old boy. It weighs 1.5 kilograms, which is approximately the size of a newborn infant. Serving another human or another life, there's nothing better than that. Because the gratitude uh, that we get from these missions, at least for me, it keeps me going for the rest of the year. Assalamu alaikum. How are we doing, buddy? Good. I'm going to set you up like that. How's that? Is that better? You know, it's going to be a couple of days, and the pain will go away completely, and then you will be just fine, okay? I'm feeling good and happy because I thank God they are able to do the surgery. If not that, I will, be, I will be unable to go to school, do other things, I will be weak and unable to do anything. So I just thank God to be able to do. So I always pray for them. The kid's sense of uh, gratitude is what got us. The guy was so, so grateful that we are here to help him. And he was praying for us, <laughs> us. That's what caught us. I want to be either a doctor or an engineer. How you take care of me, it makes me feel happy. I like to take care of people so that they also feel happy like me. <laughs> 